Oh, oh I should have been in third. What's up, everybody, and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Wreckfest to see if we can't do a little city drifting. We do have a new car in here, which we have modified up. We've softened this. We've stiffened the suspension all the way up, locked the rear diff, and pretty much set the gear ratio short. We're going to see how the drifting is in the game. We may have to uh, tweak some settings in our wheel settings and stuff like that to see to get it to feel better but we are going to try and drift today here in Wreckfest. we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this. make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter all of those are found in the description box below let's get sideways so we do have the full fan and club sport wheel set up with our energy innovations wheel hydro cam brake and everything working 100 percent tarmac here four laps so like i said we do have our stiff suspension get ratio on short diff locked brake bias set on minimum so, this is what we're going to run. And we're just going to go for it and see how this works and see if maybe we can get sideways in it. Those are really short gears. Oh my. I was not expecting it to do that. So the wheel does feel very weird when you get sideways. Somebody was telling me that in the comment section down below and I was uh, saying how, yeah, Oh, 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 it does feel pretty weird when it gets sideways. So we're just going to see how it feels. And maybe try and tweak some of the characteristics. There was a little bit of a slide, but the wheel starts to go crazy when we get sideways. So we're going to go back and restart. We're going to go into the game. And we're going to pause it. And we're going to go mess with wheel settings force feedback we're gonna leave at 50 same saturation 100 sensitivity we're gonna leave at zero so there is no real thing we can adjust per se so it's almost like that's how it's gonna be so maybe if we lower the sensitivity a little bit we're gonna give that a shot and see how this works oh no don't quit go up resume there you go so we'll see how this works. Maybe that may have accidentally screwed us up. We still seem pretty good. Maybe it's some settings I can mess with on the Fanatec, but it looks like it's very hard to really slide sideways in this game. Because the wheel just goes crazy once you get sideways. So it's going to be something I'm definitely going to try and get used to, but we are trying to drift here in Wreckfest. This is a little bit of a drift. Not all out drift. Maybe we need to soften the suspension up. Let's do that. Let's uh let's restart and let's soften the suspension up all the way. Make this thing super soft and then we're going to put our gear ratio back to um, standard. So now we will try it this way. There's a super soft suspension. A little bit more gears. This car may not be perfect for drifting, but we are trying to drift here in Wreckfest. Okay, that's a little bit better. Wheel still gets really crazy once you start going sideways, but we have a little bit better. Oh, it was a bit of a drift. More of a more of a wheel slide because the suspension is so soft. We're gonna mess with this, maybe pull out a different car and try it. But it's hard to drift in this game on the concrete. Drifting on pavement's probably way easier. Or on a dirt is way easier. There we go. That was a little bit sideways. That was a bit of a drift. Oh, Oh, I should have been in third. That would have been perfect. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, turn. Turn, damn you. Oh, no lock. We're getting somewhere, though. We're starting to uh, 
realize how the car reacts, so we can actually... Oh, now we're getting it. Ooh. Went in the wrong gear. Destroyed my trans. Now we're getting sideways here in FS. Took us a minute, but we're getting it. The goal is to not counter steer as fast. This is hard. So let's try maybe uh, switching up views. Maybe it'll hinder. But well, we are dr trying to drift here on the pavement. Here in Wreckfest. Oh, I had it. Oh, this is so much more difficult than other games because the wheel just gets really crazy. But well, we are uh, somewhat getting sideways. Not uh, not the smoothest drifting in the world, but we are drifting. We're going to get hit up to maybe some dirt, do some sideways stuff in the dirt with this car. There we go. Now we're getting it. Slowly starting to get it. It's all about just like controlling that craziness of the wheel once it gets sideways. And I think we may have figured it out. Here on our second lap. Oh, I needed more power. Need more speed or handbrake. Whew. Oh, let me make sure my uh, drift mode is not accidentally on. It is off. Well, we could turn. Let's try turning the wheel to negative five drift mode, which gives it a very stiff feel. Oh my, it has no snapback then. Okay, so from negative five is too much. Let's try negative two. Now it doesn't snap back as fast. This might be better. We may have found the ticket. It doesn't have as much snapback, so we're going to rip this next lap. It has still has snapback, but it's not as crazy. There's some sort of uh, wheel deadening to uh, help prevent the wheel from snapping back and forth so fast. Advantage of having the Fanatec and being able to adjust that. Not enough, not enough lock. So negative two is a little bit too much. So we're gonna go to negative one, which may be. Yep, negative one is the ticket. So that is where we need to be. So now I think we will be good. We're gonna shut that off so I don't want to actually adjust some settings. Oh, we don't have wheel lock, so it's all about not spinning too much. This is rough. This is hard. If you have breakfast, try drifting. See if you can be smooth. I know a couple of the JSI guys were doing it and they were pretty smooth with it, so. It's kind of a weird drift. We're gonna throw this thing in the dirt for sure. There we go. Now we're getting it. We found the money it's adjusting our wheel. Oh, <laughs> our wheel basically friction modifier drift mode, allowing it to have a little more friction snap back and forth, which is helping us in the aspect of the snap back and forth. So we do have a nice little slide going. Keep forgetting on six years. Oh, clutch kick, got to kick it out, oh, wall tap. So I think, ow, we're going to go try a dirt track and see about getting more sideways in the dirt track, drifting in Wreckfest. Not as easy as I thought it was going to be. So we're going to try it again in another track, but I think we found a little bit better wheel setting, adjusting our wheel setting to negative one drift mode because if you know about the Fantastics you have the drift mode setting up to four or five or I believe it's five we can actually go DRL we can
can actually go up to five. So we're going to be at negative one, and five would snap this back and forth so much. So I feel like we want to find a nice smooth dirt smooth dirt section. It looks like that's got some nice turns. We're going to take the same car out, but I want to make sure. Zero opponents, three laps, difficulty. Let's go. So we're going to go load into this, do a little dirt drifting, and see how well we drift in the dirt before we end this episode off. Going to be messing with it more. If you guys have Wreckfest and you guys have found maybe that that sauce setting for drifting and caught the best drift car in Wreckfest, let me know down in the comment section down below because I'd be very interested to see what car you think is the best for drifting here in Wreckfest. Going to be trying a bunch of different cars in later episodes, seeing which car drifts best here in this game. So once we load in, we're going to get some down and dirty in the dirt in Midwest Moto Center and get sideways and see what we can do with it. Midwest Moto Center main circuit. Leaving everything else how it should be. Should be the same as what it was. Now we're gonna, just going to try more. Oh, just so much easier in the dirt, though. Oh, and it gets a lot more tail happy. But it does drift with that locked rear diff. So it's definitely easier to drift in the dirt, which I knew it would be. But the snapback is still very pronounced. I'm making myself look like I don't know how to drive right now. Did I tweak my setting by mistake? Nope, we're still good. It's just me. I'm just not knowing how to drive at the moment. gotta be really smooth on the steering this is hard probably one of the hardest games I've tried to drift in so far to date that's a nice little drift oh we were so good until there oh maybe this isn't the best car maybe I need something with more weight which we will probably try some other cars on some later episodes. But right now, this car, not the best at drifting. It does get sideways, but it is very difficult. So if you guys want to keep seeing Wreckfest and seeing, you know, the trials and tribulations of trying to drift here, Wreckfest, there we go. Oh, let me know down in the comment section down below. And like I said, if you guys have that sauce drift car, let me know down in the comments. And I'd be very interested to try it. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys like the video. And make sure you guys tap that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. I do appreciate all the support. Oh, there we go. Not the fastest way around this track, but you know what? Definitely one of the funnest ways. There we go. Now we're getting it. Oh. Oh. 360 style looped it. And so as always, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys on the track. Oh, don't die.